Good morning guys, I'm just sitting in my living room right now. I was planning out my groceries. I'm gonna go to a grocery store right after I get done working out. So I wanted to kind of just decide what proteins I'm gonna have, my produce for the week. Actually it's Friday, so I guess produce for the next couple days and into the new week because I have no groceries. So here's my grocery list and we will go to Whole Foods right after we work out. Also, I need to keep on drinking because we're on a roll this morning. I didn't make the bed first thing this morning when I woke up and I almost just said when I came in here to get dressed I almost just said eh, I'll make my bed later take your two seconds to make your bed it literally took me maybe like a minute and a half and makes me feel like I've got my life together just a little bit so there's your sign make a bed all right it's time to get dressed for the gym I'm gonna wear this little cropped t-shirt from Lululemon I sized up I think I got a size 10 in this it's at all yours cropped tee and I love it. It's like the comfiest thing ever and it's like the perfect amount of oversized for a little crop top. And then I'm gonna wear my Align Biker shorts, six inch and everyone always asks me like, well, I mean, for the most part, not everyone. I'd say some people ask me if I just wear like the same ones or if I have multiple of black because I wear them literally every single day because they're like, how do they not get worn out? I have probably seven pairs of these because I wear them so much. And then, and I have a couple pairs of like the eight inch too, if I'm gonna wear like longer shirts. And then this Flow Y long line bra. So I'm gonna get dressed, get my Apple watch on, and then we will go take pre-workout and get going. Lips are swollen today still. So there's the update. 21, won't you do something for me? You're gonna have that song stuck in your head now, Jay. 21, can you do something for me? Can you do the next for me? 21, do your thing, 21, do your thing. Do your thing, 21, do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pre-workout time, and then we are running out the door. I hate leaving it this time because there is literally so much traffic. And I end up driving for like an hour, not literally, but it literally takes like 20 something minutes to get to the gym at this time. It's insanity. Workout mixed up. I asked my girl yesterday if I have to like avoid um, caffeine. Well, now it's too late because I'm already bruised up on my lips. You should see the other guy. Um, I'm already bruised up, so whatever. But I asked her, I was like, do I need to avoid working out? Do I need to avoid um, drinking caffeine? She's like, nope, you're good. So, here we are, caffeine it is, and we are, I think we're ready. Bring my gym bag. My gym bag accumulates like the most random crap in there. Like I've got this giant thing of gum, empty, still in my gym bag. I've got, giant water bottle I've got a million of these like little lip things but I'm gonna bring another one because I want this one a couple hair ties which I like that hair tie so I'm keeping that in there just random stuff honestly and it always has so much trash in it but all right fill my water up no. And let's do it. And I'm bringing my um, reusable grocery bags because we're gonna go straight to Whole Foods after. Oh, I need my grocery list. All right, got my grocery list. And yeah, let's do it. I was on the way to my workout and I was on the phone with my sister. So I haven't even talked to you guys since before 
my workout. I got a good workout in. I just left there and I'm a hot sweaty mess, but I am headed to the grocery store right now. I'm going to Whole Foods. I did like a core conditioning, kind of upper body day, like mostly core conditioning. I'm slowly starting to be able to do more core work and like if you guys remember before my surgery i hardly would ever do core i would do like some very minimal stuff um like i would do dead bugs and like things to really work my transverse abdominal muscles but um i never was really able to do many core exercises because it would hurt my back so much um if you are new here i had abdominal surgery i i feel like i always need to remind people of this because if you are new here then you probably are like what what are you talking about um i had an abdominal surgery that was i was out for a couple months but pretty much my entire life I always remember all of my core movements would hurt my back so much and it was because I had this abdominal separation that basically caused a weakening in my abdominal muscles no matter what I did no matter what um, pelvic floor specialists I would see literally no matter what I did my back would hurt because it was trying to compensate for my abdominal muscles so long story short finally able to start doing some more core work and it feels good to be able to do some ab workouts i i don't think that ab workouts are necessary necessarily like what you do in order to get a six pack abs and like to get really strong um looking abs but it really does help with your posture it helps with um back pain so that your back isn't compensating like i was just kind of explaining and uh, I just honestly enjoy doing core work. I, I honestly do like doing it. It's like, it's like a love-hate relationship. So um, long story short, I did some core, some conditioning, and I think I'm gonna go on a long walk later. But here's the checklist for today. Here's what we got. So first off, going to Whole Foods right now to get my grocery shopping done. And I actually have a pretty hefty grocery list today but Jay and I instead of going out to eat for a date night tonight we're going to make dinner at the apartment um, so I was like hey give me a list of what you want on your tacos and I will get it from the grocery store when I go to get my groceries today and we hardly ever eat together at home if you listen to my girls on the go um, podcast with Danielle and Brooke I was like I literally don't think that Jay and I have ever sat down and eaten a meal together I really don't um, so tonight we're gonna do that as like a little date night type thing and we're gonna do tacos and Then after that we're gonna record a podcast. So I need to shower change. So we're gonna do episode six today And then after that I'm gonna go get my nails done I think I'm gonna get a manicure and a pedicure or get a fill and a pedicure So that'll be good and then um, I need to do some computer work today so We've got a hefty little day. Oh, and then tonight, I think we're going to go to St. Pete. We're going to have dinner um, at, at the apartment. And then um, I think we're going to go to St. Pete to like walk around tonight. It's called First Friday. I actually have no idea what that means. But um, I know that there's like a lot going on in St. Pete today. I don't know why First Friday, what they do, if that's every month. I honestly have no idea. But we're going to go do that and then um, just kind of like walk around and do something. I just didn't really want to eat out again because we went last night. So, yeah, there's our checklist. I think that's pretty much everything I need to do today. And since it's Vlogmas, it's, you know, we have lots of computer work, lots of different things for, like, links and make sure that we get everything ready for, like, different um, Christmas wish lists and, like, gift guides and stuff like that. So, typically, like, in between what you guys see me do, so if you guys see me run errands and, do like, do meals and like all that kind of stuff normally in between that i am plopped right in front of my computer so it's just not really exciting stuff so there's my checklist for today and now it's time to go into whole foods i'm going in there sweaty as heck with crazy lips i was just in my workout class and i'm like i wonder if people think something's wrong with my lips like if people are like what's going on girl i don't know
ground beef that I would probably have. 93.7, so we can either do ground beef or ground turkey and tacos tonight. Ground beef. Mm -hmm. Is that what this means? <laughs> Rock on, or what does that mean? Strong move. That's what that means? Whoop, whoop. He's rad. All right, a quick little grocery haul. I've got all of my proteins over here. I did ground beef, 93.7. Some cod. I go through cod so freaking quickly because if I do it, I'll do like two pieces of cod just because it's not super filling to just do one filet. So I go through that very quickly. Ground turkey, I do the 98.2%. And then I got some more tuna steaks, which I haven't gotten in a while. Then over here... This is not organized at all whatsoever, but um, I got an avocado slicer, which I'm excited about. I can't believe I haven't already had one of these. I normally will, like stick my thumb into the avocado to get the peel off and then slice it. And I got some rice cakes and then I got this. Um, actually, I got two of these. It's like a mason jar to put uh, cilantro or whatever else in there. I think I'm going to do my celery in there as well in some water. And then I got some more avocado oil spray, which we go through that very quickly too. Some tomatoes. Tonight we're doing tacos, so I got some shredded iceberg lettuce, green beans, a zucchini, some Brussels sprouts, couscous. We had couscous yesterday in our HelloFresh meal, and it was couscous, wasn't it? Yeah. And um, I really liked it. So I was like, I'll get more of that, and I'll make that even on my own. Got some cauliflower rice. Some more blueberries, some grapes, some quinoa. I really like quinoa too right now. And then I got some everything but the bagels, or I guess it's everything bagel seasoning with sesame, sea salt, garlic, onion, poppy seed. I love this seasoning. And then I got some sesame garlic crunch, which that's, oh shoot, this is spicy. Well, we'll give it a shot. It might be too spicy for me. I am such a wimp when it comes to spice. I got a red onion, some cilantro, some spring mix, and celery, carrots, cucumbers, mushrooms, strawberries, and some drinks. I'm going to try these agua bucha. They're kind of like kombucha. And then I think I'm going to have one of these while I am doing the podcast in a couple minutes. Vintage cola and some orange squeeze. And then I got some more almond milk. And I'm going to make some overnight oats tonight probably to have for the next couple days. So, little grocery. Actually, this is a big grocery haul, honestly. All right, we are about to do our podcast. I just poured a drink, got my camera set up, got the mic set up and everything. So, here we go. Here's our cute little setup. <laughs> just ignore this over here. <laughs> We just finished our podcast and then um, I started lunch. So I'm making that right now. I'm doing like a cute little shrimp bowl. Cauliflower rice in here. I'm gonna do a shrimp bowl with cauliflower rice, cucumber, tomato, carrots. What else can I do? Coconut aminos, some cilantro. I think that's everything. I think that's good. So time to make some lunch and I'm starving. It's like two o'clock right now. One o'clock, but I'm starving. Let's get to cooking. After every meal, I need something sweet, literally every single time. So right now, okay, should I be using a plate? Probably. I already have had a couple, but I've almost dusted 
this entire box of cookies. The Simple Mills ones, these ones are my favorite. These are probably my second favorite. I like the snickerdoodle ones of these. So stinking good. If you have not tried these yet, delish. Another yummy snack because your girl is a snacky snacker. I am in a snacky mood right now. So I had a little bit of this raw cashew butter and then a couple dates. The dates are really good if you put them in the freezer with like chocolate and some cacao nibs, some coconut, a little bit of nut butter. But honestly, I still even just like the dates dipped in nut butter. Delicious. Delicious. All right, about to go do some cardio. I just feel good if I get like some kind of cardio, some kind of extra movement in throughout the day. Like my workouts, like my lifts and whatnot have been super short. Um, which is fine. I've just liked breaking them up. I used to do like cardio right after my workout or right before. So instead I am kind of just breaking them up because I don't know. I've been liking it that way. So I'm going to go to the gym. Normally I'll just do it in my apartment downstairs and just walk on the treadmill, but I'm thinking I want to do a Stairmaster workout. So that would be the way my dryer sounds when it's done. It's so annoying. Um, so I've got this sports bra on that's actually from Amazon. It's so stinking cute. And then I have navy aligned shorts on. Of course I've got my hokas. My hokas are like the only pair of shoes I ever want to wear. <laughs> I have so many cute pairs of shoes and I'm like, no, the hokas, the hokas are the move. Um, and then I'm going to probably sit in the sauna for a little bit. I don't typically sit in the sauna for super long because I have eyelash extensions and it kind of messes with your eyelash extensions, I heard. Um, I want to get, a, I just love how I feel after the sauna and I want to get this sauna membership that's here in Tampa. And it's like, um, maybe it's called like sweatologist or something like that. And it has like red light therapy. I think that it would be really good to just like sweat out my toxins and maybe not have my skin have as many issues because at that sweatologist one or whatever it's called, I need to think of the actual name. They have like a red light therapy room, I think, or like a red light therapy and I might just look into that. So for now, I'm just going to my normal gym and they have a sauna there. So I will do my cardio and then I'll probably only sit in there. I normally get so hot, I can only sit in there for like 15 minutes, 10 minutes. And then I'm like, yep, that's enough. When I lived in Alabama, I would want to sit in the sauna before my workouts to warm up if it was cold out. And really, I haven't done the sauna since. Also, while I'm waiting for my shirt to dry that I want to wear, I got this in from Amazon and it's Fraser Fur from Times is what the brand is. It smells so good. I got a Fraser. Um, I think it was a Fraser scent from Target not too long ago when I did that Target haul target haul and I burned through it so quickly so I've been looking for some different ones I love that scent it's so Christmassy smells like a pine tree I love it so let's go do some cardio I'll bring y'all along with me and we'll get a little Stairmaster workout and everyone always asks me what my Stairmaster workout is just depends how much energy we have and today we have a lot of energy so let's do it Do you like to season your ground beef with anything in particular? Just taco seasoning? Um, I usually just do like salt and pepper and that garlic pepper. Gotcha. But, but what? Um, yeah, that's, I mean, you can add the taco seasoning if you want. Okay. Okay, I did this like literally the most inefficient way possible. Sydney. Okay.
How many tacos do you want? Like this? Well, I think like three or... Are we doing any sides or just tacos? Um, I don't have any sides, but you could have a snack or something. You want four then? Yeah, let's do four. Thank you. Welcome. Shelby's been getting Ty so many different pairs of shoes, and she's sending them to me, and they're literally so cute. Got a lot of shoes? Yeah. This avocado cutter is cool, but I don't think I did it right. Oh, last time we did um, the chopper, did we put it in slices rather than like halves of like onions? Yeah. Oops. No wonder that was so hard. Dude, this guy needs to be on somebody's NFL roster. Who is it? On TikTok? Yeah. Taking a nap? Alright. All right, dinner is served with the side of an Olipop. The most simple tacos ever, but they're gonna be so good. All right, so here is my dilemma. My hair and makeup done. I have a dilemma, if you will. So dramatic, but do you wear summer clothing in Florida during the winter? I, I just don't know. I never know what to wear because it just doesn't seem right wearing like tube tops. Like it's literally December, but it's warm here. I think it's, I think it's warm. Alexa, what's the temperature outside right now? Right now, it's 77 degrees Fahrenheit. 77 flipping degrees. Like I could, I don't know. And can I wear white jeans right now? Is that against the fashion rules? I don't know, but here's what I have in mind. Well, actually, my lighting sucks in here, so I'll bring you with me. Here's what I have in mind. So, this tube top with white jeans, it's very summery, but I mean, it's warm here. So, I'm going to give it a shot, and if not, then I'll try on something else. But, is this allowed? I, it's going to be too late, so don't tell me if not. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I really like this shirt on me. I don't have my pants buttoned right now, but I feel like the shirt is too long. Like I think I need to get it hemmed. I don't know if... Like a seamstress needs to do that or something, but I think this one is a no-go for tonight. It's so cute and it's like the cutest fabric. I think I got this from Revolve, but I think my torso is just too short or something. Not me literally wearing almost the exact same thing that I wore last night out to dinner, but I mean, different top, different jeans, just same vibe, same purse. I'm still wearing the clear heels, but I'm wearing these a Goldie jeans that have the rips in them. And then this lovers and friends top that kind of like ties in the back and is a crop top. I just feel more confident in black. To be honest with you, I just do. I do. The real question is what outfit will I actually leave the house in? Which outfit? It's, the, it's a mystery for all of us. It really truly is. I'm just sick of being a boring human. To be honest with you, I'm kind of a boring human when it comes to my outfits and I always just wear black. This shirt is so cute, it really is. I think I just need to wear it. I need to suck it up and just wear it. Sydney, you're overthinking it. And then these pants. I think it's the pants that are throwing me off with this shirt. 
Mm, I don't know. I posted um, on TikTok a video that I sent to my sister. I was like, can, can I even wear white right now? Because I was wearing like the white pants. And um, everyone's like, that's not a rule anymore. But I just, I didn't really like the white pants with this shirt, honestly. So I think we're going with this one. We'll see. I guess you'll see once I'm out and about. And when I get back, if I'm still in that outfit. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm home. I'm in my comfy pajamas. It's like 11.30 right now, and I am tired. It's like a 30 minute drive from St. Pete, so I was like, I hit a wall, and I was like, I'm ready to be in my pajamas, and then I obviously had a drive home, so um, I'm about to wind down. I just made my tea. I got the Christmas tree on. I think I might watch a vlog. I, Vlogmas is like, Y'all, I look forward to Vlogmas so much. And now that I'm doing it myself, I'm like, I love it even more. But I look forward to it because it's just so fun, like, having something to watch every single night of, like, I have my probably, like, four or five favorite people to watch. Um, like, Danielle. And I, I don't think Brooke's doing it on TikTok, but I like Brooke's stuff. I like um, Kylie Ross is doing Vlogmas. And Caitlin Nolan's doing a lot of stuff. So... Lots of people doing Vlogmas. I like Maggie uh, McDonald and I like Rachel Ratke. Um, all, of those, all of those vlogs, I just feel like so excited to watch every single day. So um, I'm just probably going to relax. I don't have to be up super early. I'll probably still wake up um, at my normal early time before my alarm. Um, but I'm going to make sure that my vlogs are all ready for tomorrow to go up. Um, so Vlogmas definitely has me staying up a little bit later than I typically would, but also um, tomorrow Saturday, so I don't have to be up super early anyways. So anyways, I'm going to end off this vlog. I love y'all. I hope you enjoyed this day in my life, and I will see y'all tomorrow. <laughs>